Okay, now we have seen the Ohm's law in its scalar form. V is equal to I R. Why? Because I is taken as a scalar. I is a scalar quantity. We know that V being the work done, right? From the last chapter, we know that this is a scalar quantity. So, and R also is a scalar quantity, right? We cannot take I as a vector because it does not add like a vector. Okay, so for example, a wire coming like this, carrying a current, and a wire carrying a current like this, they will, at this junction, add up. I and I will add up irrespective of the angle that is made by these two wires. So it's not dependent on the on the angle of the wire. So so if 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 this was coming the other wire, if it was coming say say like that, if it was coming like that, instead instead of this, if it was like that, the current here would still have been two I. Okay. So that's why the current is not taken as a vector. However, we do define something related to the current as a vector, and that is J. Okay, J is defined as the current density. That is the current current per unit area. Okay. So if 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 this is the cross section of a conductor, okay, which is say carrying a current. Carrying a current I, okay. So 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 this is how the current is moving, and and this total current is I. Then we define a a vector J, okay. We define a vector J such that, and how do we define this vector J? I define this vector J. This this is my vector j. Hold on. This is my vector vector j. Let me raise this. This is my vector j. The 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 purple the purple thing. Okay. The purple vector is my vector j. And area we have been defining like vector. So so earlier. So, so let's say this red one. Okay, this is the area vector A. Then, then we define this in such a manner that J dot A becomes a scalar. J dot A becomes a scalar I. We know that the dot product of two vectors becomes a scalar, and this scalar is I. Okay. Okay. Now, if J and I are in the same direction, then then I can say that J into A into cos zero is equal to I. So normally I say that J magnitude wise is nothing but I upon A. Right? We understand that. Now, once we understand this, we are good to go. See, we have we have v is equal to i into r. So so we have a conductor. Okay, we have a conductor which is say something like that. Just say something like that. Okay, and. Which is something like this, right? So let us say this is its length L, okay? And it has it has a potential drop of V across it. Okay, V across it, 
now i know that all potential drops are due to electric field so there must be an electric field here right a uniform electric field from here till here if if the electrons are moving like that and the resultant current is moving like this right so there must be an electric field like this and a uniform electric field from this end to this end so what is the potential drop what is the potential difference potential difference what do we do i i take a 1 plus 1 c 1 coulomb charge and try to move from this end to that end it experiences a a, a force of e into 1 which is e and i move a distance l so the total work that i do is equal to e into l and that is equal to v right so v is equal to e into l right now here i write this as e into l correct is that okay that is equal to this and this is equal to i r we have just found out in the last video rho l upon a and we have just defined we have just defined this right that that i upon a this whole thing this this is j so so this is equal to this is equal to j this is equal to j and this is this is rho and this is l and this is e and this is l right so magnitude wise magnitude wise e is equal to j rho right now rho is a scalar now rho is a scalar right rho is a scalar however this e is a vector and we have just defined the j that is the current density also to be a vector so this seems to be a scalar multiplication of 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 a vector to yield you a vector so if i impart it a, a vector notation how should it look it should look like e equals 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 rho times the j vector do we get that okay we can also say that it is 1 upon rho into e is equal to j and 1 upon rho resistivity 1 upon resistivity is termed as conductivity okay so this is termed as conductivity into the electric electric vector is equal to, i'm sorry there there should be a vector sign here that is equal to j okay so these two so 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 these two are the these two are the vector form of the ohm's law right vector form of of ohm's law right this as well as this this one and and two both one and two both are the vector form of ohm's law right